Well, it's first of all, very humbling, very honored. It, uh, it means a lot to me because my years at, at, not just at East High, which was a very big part of it, but my years on the East Side. My folks were born and, both born and raised on the East Side, never moved off the East Side. In fact, when we moved to Polk City, my dad was still alive then and told me, if God had meant you to live in Polk City, you'd have been born there. <laughs> and I was very fortunate that I had uh, a lot of relatives at, at East High while I was there. In fact, when my junior year, I had seven first cousins and three second cousins at East High all at the same time. And we're all still very close. And we have our own reunions and we get together and used to see them every Friday night at the fair, but I've missed two years in a row. Of course, last year because of COVID, but, and I don't, I'm, I don't, well, I do too know what I was doing the year before that. I was help coaching a softball team at the Little League World Series in Portland, Oregon. Being a student at East High and growing up on the East Side was, was very uh, challenging. I carried papers on the East Side for almost four years and attending East High, uh, it affected my values, affected how I look at people, how I tend to people, uh, being part of the neighborhood. In fact, I have an experience once where I, at another job, I went to work with guys from, uh, I worked with guys from out of town. We used to get together on Saturday mornings for breakfast and we ate on the east side at one, at one time. And as we were eating breakfast, I probably had four to six people walk up and say hi to me. And they said, this is like Ron's hometown. I told them, no, it isn't like Ron's hometown. This is Ron's hometown. And I still consider it my hometown. I tell people I live in Polk City, but I'm from East Des Moines. If I were, could go back and be a student at East High again, I would become more involved. I would get out of my comfort zone. I would do some things that I wasn't comfortable with at the time and regret now that I didn't be a part of. And I would like to pass that on to students now and alumni, don't forget where you're from. Don't forget what you took away from East High. And remember, remember the good times, as I do, because they weren't all good, but I like to think they were. At East, uh, you really, you're exposed to and, and able to work with and meet and understand people from every culture possible you can think of, uh, whether it's social, economic background or ethnic background or race. Uh, no matter uh, what scenario you can come up with, you're going to have a chance to interact with somebody with those those attributes and get to understand them and, and learn. And, and uh, one of the things that people tell me is I do a good job of going from the boiler room to the boardroom. And I think that that's uh, uh, one of the things that I've uh, picked up and learned uh, at East High School. For East High is for the service of humanity. and, and uh, you know, caring about people, uh, love what you do, uh, mentally tough uh, is a, uh, the harder you work, the luckier you become. And I would, I would tell my, you know, anybody uh, that if the harder you work, the, it's amazing what you can achieve. And uh, don't, don't ever uh, doubt yourself, believe in yourself and, and good things will come of it. Never happens as fast as you want it to. It's amazing how lucky people are 20 years later. And uh, so just put your time in and work at it. You know, it'll, it'll happen. You know, um, the most valuable asset you have is your time. And, uh, but giving of your time and treasure, you know, is, is a uh, wonderful way to support the, the foundation and, and the Alumni Association and, and helping, uh, you know, kids that were in your situation uh, uh, move on and achieve the things that, that you achieved and, and uh, give back is, is an important thing to do and, and uh, um, to support it. There are, uh, there's always mentorship opportunities and whatever you're passionate about. Uh, and so giving of your, of, of your time is the most valuable asset you have. And so mentoring a young person, uh, whether it's Boys and Girls Club or or uh, you know whatever association you're fond of uh, is a great way to give back to the community. So why I do this is my own uh, life experiences. I think that what motivates all of us. And, and uh, you know we've we've had a uh, uh, challenging, uh, or I had two children that have passed away from from 
medical complications from birth. And uh, so being able to support other children's activities is a passion of mine. And uh, being able to pour that energy into uh, something constructive is, is why I do what I do. Well, my experiences at East mainly I was, was kind of intimidating at first because my home room was down in the basement and we'd have to go from there all the way to the fourth floor. And I never did find the elevator passes. I looked for those for the first few days. Everybody told me to find those and I'd be in good shape and I never did. So that was always kind of a bummer. But I met so many good friends there and people would help me along. Uh, Rick Olson would always give me a ride to school. He had a brother, Craig, that was my age and we would always hang out together. And so he would take me there and I had some really hard times like everybody does. And he pulled me aside, he said, Billy, you can't quit. And there was a sign at East High that says quitters never win and winners never quit. So they would always point that out to me. And that still, and to this day, I repeat that to my grandkids too. It's such a good saying, I just love that saying. I would like to tell the students to just keep in touch with the friends they have today. Most of them are probably friends they knew in grade school and even junior high. And these may be their friends for a lifetime. And to always stay in touch with them, to do what's right with them. And these may be their best friends till they're 70, 80, 90 years old. I help a lot with Valley View Village down here on the east side. And we had a Valley View Village night where it was all East High alumni people. And those people are still friends that are 80, 90 years old still at Valley View. It was really neat to see. Well, I would just like to see them become more involved and just try to build the school up. We all need the help right now. It's been a tough couple of years for everybody and have them try to reach out to their alumni friends and relatives and whatever and just try to encourage them to all come back and for us all to stay together and keep East High going strong. There's some people I wanted to mention and I forgot I had to jot them down. One is Bob Mahaffey, a real good friend of mine that has helped a lot of us on the East Side through various things. And I just wanted to mention his name and thank him for all he did. And Coach Bob Savage was at East High forever. And he was such a good man, did so much for East High. I wanted to make sure that I mentioned him and John and Mark Kelly, two of my good friends who've been real helpful for everything at East High. And we sure appreciate all they've did. And, the Hedberg family, there's Art, Mark, and Eric, and Eric has a roofing company. They've been real instrumental with a lot of stuff at East High School, too. So there were several people, including Connie Bozen, who's been a friend of mine forever. Her dad ran the fairgrounds for years and years and always made sure I had a job out there. So I wanted to make sure Connie was recognized, too. And I'm sure that everybody knows Connie very well. Tom Hawkinsmith and the Pearson family, Tim and Ron, have been great assets to all of us. So I just wanted to put that in there for me. Thank you. Football days at East were a great memory. Of course, uh, we had very good teams. We had very good coaches. Uh, to this day, they're still friends of mine that are on the team that I talk to regularly. And it, it was just a wonderful experience and a great time. Some of my favorite memories of East High, of course, is what we've talked about, friendships. Uh, the teachers, uh, uh, my coaches, and obviously my athletic ability or athletic uh, uh, teams that I played with and ultimately came on my profession. I've always had a love for football, you know, whether it be coaching side or the officiating side, and the officiating side was more attractive to me, uh, less time, more time for family. Uh, so it kind of drew, drew me near to that and uh, just became, just met some people and, and, and fell in love with it. And it's, and I just worked my way up the ladder and, and I've been very uh, happy and lucky and successful with it. Uh, transition is great to college because, uh, again, football was my love. Um, so, you know, it, it was a nice transition from high school to, to college. Uh, had to work for my college uh, profession being a walk-on athlete at the University of Iowa. But uh, it's also part of hanging in there and being in love with the sport and knew when I had a chance. Don't sweat the small stuff. Uh, be true to yourself, be who you are, be loyal to your friends, uh, and strive to be the best you can be. My volunteerism is a lot of promotions with around football, so whether it's trips or tickets to different events, Super Bowls, for example. Uh, I try to uh, give where I can, where, where it's needed. A lot of time it's more, more time than, than it is anything else, and, and I try to volunteer when I can. And for the alumni, uh, continue to promote East High School. 
Uh, it's a great organization. It, it, it's great friends. It's great family. And uh, it'll treat you well for the rest of your life. As far as goals and family orientation, I think family's more important to me. Um, I'm doing something that I love that is really strange for a lot of people that I really never worked a day in my life. Uh, but the family's what's most important. And if I could trade it, you know, one day that I missed a birthday or, or a, some kind of celebration for a football game, uh, of course, the family's more important. And I wish I could have those 10 times back.